What's up, Fit Body Nation? Guess whose birthday it is today? That's right, it's mine. Coach B right here, 32. So are you ready to shed the fat today? To get rid of that extra fat around the waist, the legs, all over the body. High intensity is gonna be the name of the game and you can expect to burn 400 calories with this awesome workout. It's gonna be fun, but yes, it's gonna be challenging as well. If you're already a subscriber to the Fit Body Nation, you know what to do. You got a timer above. Use that time to jump straight to the beginning of the workout. If you're brand new, don't skip ahead yet. I wanna be the first to welcome you to the Fit Body Nation, craziest home workouts on all of YouTube. Me and you, we work out together, but after your workouts, you can jump over to our challenge page. You get points for doing daily active tasks. Daily tasks that are based around a healthy, active lifestyle where you can go and check off those tasks for the day. You get points for them. Those points convert you onto the live leaderboard so you can compete with myself and others. So make sure you subscribe, check out this workout, and as soon as it's over, go fill out a free profile. That way you can be a part of the live leaderboard and the home fitness challenge as well. Let's do this thing. At this time, I'm going to ask that you fasten your seatbelts. So can you believe this is week four of six weeks? We're almost through the entire six week series and I've got some awesome ideas for the next six weeks that I think you're really, really gonna enjoy. So today, you're gonna need a set of dumbbells. We've only got one exercise where you actually use the dumbbells. Tie your shoes tight. We're gonna be moving around today. And like always, we're gonna start with our warm up, which will be two to three minutes just to loosen us up, make sure we don't pull any muscles. Then we'll go straight into the main workout, which will last 30 minutes. And then we're going to cool down and stretch. Okay, let's start with some high knees. More of a low jog, not really a high knee yet. We're gonna warm up into it. So we're gonna start with a low jog. And then from this, we'll pick our pace up, switch up through five, six, seven exercises with our warm up. And then we'll get to the main part of the workout here. So let's get it up. Hopefully you got a Fitbit or something to track your calories with because we're definitely gonna be pushing it out today, all right? You're gonna wanna drive. The cool thing that I love about, not necessarily the Fitbit, but just being able to track your calories is you can go harder and harder every single time and really see what you're doing with these workouts. Okay, so now let's take it into a side lunge. We're just gonna go from side to side, just some mobility movement here. Get everything kinda of stretched out. Here we go. Good, so side to side, side to side. That's it, we got it. Good, and nice and low. Kind of hold it down here for a second and let's switch back to the other side. Nice and low, hold it for a second. Okay, good, let's take it into some push-ups on this. I'm gonna do it on my knees just so I'm not expending any extra energy that I don't wanna waste. I wanna save as much as possible for the workout itself, okay. So hands and shoulder width. You can do them straight body though if you want. Don't worry. No judgment either way. Good. So down and up on this. Down and up. Here we go. Come on. Keep pushing. Perfect. So now back up to your feet. We're going to go back into this little jog. We're going to pick our pace up a little bit. And also I want you to bring your knees just a little bit higher. Here we go. Let's work. Whoo, there we go. Come on. Can you believe January's almost over? It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I love it, but it's almost over. Almost into that February and then March. And I love March because that's when it starts to, typically the weather will kind of start to warm up a little bit. So that's what I'm trying to get to. All right, let's take it into jumping jacks now. So this, I want your arms nice and straight and your legs nice and straight. We're gonna do some bigger movements. Not just for speed on this one, some good big movements. There we go. Come on, we got it. That's it. Perfect. Keep working. We'll spend uh, another 15 seconds or so. So let's keep the jumping jacks going. Now I want you to shorten your arms, just like mine. Okay, we're gonna go for speed. Not just four on this one, we're gonna go for speed now. We're gonna get our heart rate up. Here we go, come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, faster, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, relax on the warm up there. 
All right, so in about 30 seconds, we're going to be starting with the workout itself. You will need your dumbbells for the first one because we're going to be starting with a renegade row. Which we're going to do a push up with a row, and from that, we'll go into a grasshopper, which is an exaggerated mountain climber, basically. And let's see, let's see. We've got forward jumps with back shuffles and a knee to elbow plank. All right, we're going to kind of hit full body right off the bat with these. So let's get ready. We've got about 10 seconds till we start. You ready for this? Come on. Let's make this one happen today. It's going to be good. Four seconds. All right. Straight body position. So you're going to do a push up. You're going to pull the weight up to your side. Push up. Pull the weight up to your side. And we're not going super fast on these right away. These are good toning, full body exercise. So I'm using 30 pound dumbbells. You can use 15, 20, 30s, 40s even. Whatever suits you for a good challenge. We got eight seconds. Come on. There you go. Now you're gonna to wanna to move the dumbbells out of your way. Just switch over to the side. So grasshopper, this is where you're switching your feet and you're bringing them almost up to your hands. Now, if you're tight in the groin area, this one won't be as easy, okay? You may not be able to do such an extended movement, but that's okay, because you can work up to it. Good, so switch it. Back and forth on these. Here we go. You got it. Good. Four seconds. All right. So this one, we're going to jump forward probably a couple times, depending on how much space you have, then shuffle back. So forward, forward. Now shuffle back. That's it. Good. Here we go. Forward, forward. Shuffle back. Excellent. Let's go. Here we go. Come on. Push your back. Last one now. On your forearms or a straight arm. You're going to bring your knee in to your elbow. You can do it on your forearms or you can do it straight arm. Just like this as well. Your choice on this one. I'm going to do it on my forearms. I'm not completely exhausted yet since we did just start. Come on, this is going to work the obliques. Great ab exercise in cardio. Come on, let's go. All right, first 30 seconds of rest. Now, bad, we made it through. All right, let's get everything back in position. Get ready for those renegade rows. Again, all right. Two more rounds on this. Doing good. If you don't have any weight to use, do a push up with a shoulder tap. So, push up, tap your shoulder. All right, nine seconds till we start. Whoo, that's it, that's it, five seconds. Come on. Here we go, so push up, row, push up, row, push up. Good. Working, working, working. There we go, that's it. Come on, this time I do want you to get your pace a little bit faster in your first round, okay? So just a little bit faster. Nothing crazy still. There we go. All right, weights off to the side. Let's get those grasshoppers. Okay, so switching left and right. Try to bring your foot farther forward each and every time. Good. That's it. It's a challenge. Whether you're doing a shorter range of motion or you're doing the full hand all the way up to your foot. It's a challenge. Good, you got it. Okay, so forward leap now. Forward leap, here we go. Jump, jump, hustle back. Here we go, there we go. Jump, jump, hustle back. Woo, quads are feeling it. Heart's feeling it too. Hustle back. Just keep rocking. Whew. We got this. Come on. A few seconds left. Hustle back. We got the knee to elbow plank. I'm going to do this set straight, body. I'll save the last set to go back on the forearms. Here we go. Got a little space heater going out here. I don't really need it. It's warming up really quickly. Whew. Come on. You got any sweat rolling yet? 
I don't know if you do, but I'm starting to get some. Let's go. Come on. All right, we got 30 seconds to rest. Doing good so far. Little fist bump for the effort. So we got one more round of those same four exercises. So you know what we're doing. Okay, dumbbells back. Renegade rows. This is the last set of these. So let's make this last set really count. Nine seconds. All right, come on. We got our long rest coming up after this one. Here we go. All right, push up, row, push up, row. Hang with me. Push up, row, push up, row, push up. Row the dumbbell up. Push up, row it up. Push up, row it up. Let's go. Row, row. Come on. Row. 10 seconds. Row. Two more reps. Don't stop early. Don't quit on me. Come on. Set your dumbbells down. All right, grasshoppers. Here we go. Hey, switching left and right. This really warms it up for those forward leaps and those back shuffles. Get those legs loosen up. My legs actually feel better on this third set doing these grasshoppers than on the first couple. I think they're good and loosened up now. Whew. Let's go. Come on. All right, here we go. So in position, jump, and jump a second time. If you got space, jump a third or fourth time. Shuffle back. Jump, and jump. Shuffle back. Come on, we got it. Perfect. Almost there. Hustle back. Good. And jump. And jump. Hustle back. All right. Here we go. All right, jump it down. Forearms are straight arm. Bring the knee in. To the elbow. Try to get as close as you can. You may not get all the way there. But get it as close as you can. Come on, summer's around the corner. We gotta get ready for it. Woo. I know we got some beach, beach weather coming up. Oh, that's it. Two, one. Okay, we got one minute. Thank goodness. Our next four exercises. We're doing a star jump with a tuck jump. After that, we're doing sprinter knees with a butt kick. Then we're doing a half burpee and wide mountain climbers. Four high intensity exercises. So move your dumbbells. Get a quick sip of water. Pause the workout if you have not triple knotted your shoes, because you're gonna need to. All right, start jump. We'll do one start jump, one tuck jump. One start jump, one tuck jump. Oh. If you gotta modify, do a jumping jack with a squat or a jumping jack with a squat jump, okay? All right, star jump, star jump, tuck jump. It's hard to say. All right, so with the star jump, start with your feet together, squat down, jump, make a star, tuck jump, bring your knees up, just like that. Here we go, star, and tuck, star, and tuck jump. Modify if you need to, come on. This work, we're definitely gonna get our main calorie burn from this part of the workout itself. So it's supposed to hurt. Okay, so spread our knees, four count, here we go. One, two, three, four, butt kicks. One, two, three, four, hang with me. One, two, three, four, butt kicks. One, two, three, Four, one, two, three, get it crazy. Four, one, two, three, four, slow down. One, two, all right, half burpees. So this one, feet out, push up, feet back in, stand right here. Back down, push up, up, hands out. So it's the bottom half of a burpee. Whew. Get faster, as you get comfortable, with the movement. There we go. Good. 
Push up. Try not to skip the push up either. All right, wide mountain climbers. Your hands are wide. Same mountain climber movement as always. When your hands are wide, it makes it a little bit harder to isolate. And so it's more exhausting. Way more exhausting. Come on, keep it there. It's almost like you're trying to do a push up, like a half push up. We'll do mountain climbers. Five seconds. Okay, catch your breath. If you can, in through your nose, out through your mouth. We got 20 seconds to slow that breathing down. You're doing awesome on this one. We're going back to our star jump. We're with the top jump. My heart rate's up. Can't even calculate it. Alright. Oh man. Are you breathing as hard as I am? Holy cow. Alright, here we go. So start jump. Then a tuck jump. Good. Now, try to move about my pace, maybe a little bit faster. I feel like I'm going a bit slow on this. I don't know if I am. It feels that way. Ooh. But I'm definitely putting a lot out. Putting a ton of effort. Come on. Ooh. This gotta be my favorite one right here. Just kidding. All right, sprint your knees, butt kicks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. When you do butt kicks, your knees are pointed down. Four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two. I'm definitely slowing down. Ah, one, two, three. Half burpees. Start with a push up. Feet up. Slight pause at the top. Back down. Come on. Slight pause. Right back down. Push up. Back down. Here we go. I apologize. I can hear my dogs barking in the backyard. You might be able to as well. But no worries. Keep moving. A little extra ambiance. Okay, wide mountain climbers. Come on, hands wide. Left, right. I'm not going to take a whole lot doing this one. You know what we're doing. And you're doing an awesome job. Left and right. Come on. About five if you need to. Push it out. Ten seconds. You can do anything for ten seconds. I know you can. I'm hurting too. Ah, oh man. Okay, 30 seconds. We've got one more. If you can, stand up to your feet. That way you get the blood back to them. We don't want it just to pull off and cool down too much. I think this still can't get my heart rate. Let's tighten it up a little bit. Might be too loose. I don't want to lose any of these calories being burned because it's not monitoring, right? All right, start jump. Here we go. Now this is our last set. So I'm going to shut up a little bit and just work. You work with me. Let's suffer together. Suffer well. You and me. May not suffer pretty, but we'll suffer well, won't we? Come on, eight seconds. Oh, that was an awful tuck jump. All right, sprint your knee by kick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Come on, you got it. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two. All right, half burpee, half burpee. So push up here, hands up, back down. Push up. Come on, let's get our pace up a little bit. I'm tired, I know I'm slowing down, so I'm yelling at myself to go faster. So I'm gonna verbally say it, so you hold me accountable, I'll hold you accountable. Let's move, 
Let's pick this pace up a little bit. Seven seconds on these. Here we got the wide mountain climbers. Let's go. Wide. Hands wide, hands wide. Let's go. Left to right, left to right. Working through it. Definitely not easy. I got sweat dripping. It's getting real now. Come on. Five seconds or so. Okay. We got one minute and we got our last circuit. That's the good news. You're doing awesome. You're doing freaking awesome. Keep pushing it with me, okay? So now, horizontal split lunge. What this is, you're in a split lunge position right here, and you're hopping to a hop to the side. Your lead leg, leg, your lead leg will stay the same, okay? Next is a tiptoe lunge. Then we're doing a rolling plank, and then we're gonna finish with a trio push-up. Can't even talk. Okay, whoo, horizontal split lunge. I'm gonna use this dumbbell to jump over. All right, so I think you know what I'm talking about. So start with our right legs in front. I'll do it from the side. Okay, so we're gonna do about four bounces, just like this, and then you're hopping over. And then you're gonna hop back, just like that. Once you get four hops, left and right, you're gonna switch and do the same thing. And hop, whew, a little bit easier with my left leg in front. My right leg, not so much. All right, it's called the horizontal. Split lunge. All right, tiptoe lunge, just like it sounds. You're doing a lunge, but you're staying on your toes. So you're gonna have to slow it down a little bit for this. That way you keep your form right. Now, if you have bad toes, or an injury, you may not be able to do this. All right, so you're keeping your feet or your heels up off the ground when you do this lunge. All right, good, come on. This actually focuses a little bit more on the quads. All right, now, we're gonna do a rolling plank. So on your forearms, we're gonna roll from side to side here. Continue working on these abs. We'll keep throwing abs in, even though we do on Fridays. For now, we'll continue working our abs quite a bit until we get into summertime for sure. So, we may not just focus one day on them specifically with the next six weeks, but, all right, trio push-up. So a wide push-up, hands at shoulder width, and a diamond push-up. You can do them straight body or on your knees. So wide. Whew, military, and diamonds. Again, so many sets you can get through. The three combos be in one set. Let's go. Okay, so we got one minute, or one minute, I wish. We got 30 seconds to rest. We got the same exercises, starting with our horizontal split lunge. I'm not gonna use anything to jump over just so I don't have dumbbells to move out of my way. So this round, let's go a little bit faster. Because we're almost to the end here. Whew. All right, horizontal split lunge, starting in eight seconds. We'll start with, let's start with our left leg forward. So four pulses, one, two, three, four, and hop. One, two, three, four, hop back. One, two, three, four, this is our fourth one. We're gonna switch feet now. Here we go, switch your feet. One, two, three, four, hopping. You're staying in that split lunge position. Okay, there you go. Two, three, four, switch your back. This time we're gonna switch feet again. Three, four, switch feet. One, two, three, four. Oh, all right, side to side plank with our hips. A rolling plank, hip touch plank. Good. There we go. Let's try to get those hips. All the way to the ground, if you can. Usually my thigh touches the ground before my hip does. But you get the general idea. After this, we're going to do our 
All right, trio push-up combo. Come on, let's keep going. All right, start with a wide push-up. Chest all the way to the ground. Military push-up, chest all the way to the ground. Hands close for a diamond push-up. And I still try to touch my chest to my hands when I do that. Ooh, perfect. These push-ups are kind of nice. They're not nearly as strenuous as that second circuit we did with those star jumps and top jumps. That was awful. Ooh. Okay, we've got one more little round. And then we are stretching, okay? This workout's been tough, but man, it's flowing by for sure. Okay, 20 seconds. Last round. I push you, and you've got to promise to push me back, okay? You see me slow down? You yell through your monitor, TV, phone, computer, whatever you're watching, for me to book it and go faster, okay? I will hear you. I know I will. Three seconds. All right, horizontal split lunge. Here we go. One, two, three, four, hop. One, two, three, four, hop. One, two, three, four, hop. One, two, three, four. Switch your feet. One, two, three, four, hop. One, two, three, four, hop. One, two, three, four, hop. Can almost make a beat out of that. <laughs> I don't have anything to mix it with, but hey, switch your feet. One, two, three, Four hop, one, two, three, four hop. And tiptoe lunge. There we go. Good old tippy toes. Tippy toe, tippy toe. There we go. That's it. Did we do tippy toes on the last round? I feel like we skipped it for some reason. Maybe we didn't. The timer would have been off, but for some reason I feel like I skipped it. Who knows? I guess I'll find out in a few seconds here. The timer doesn't end right. All right, rolling plank on your forearms here. So if we did skip it and the timer's off, we're just going to add it to the very end here, okay? But I don't know. My brain completely just blinked out on that one. All right, rolling hip touch for now, though. So side to side, get those planks. Good, let's go. Here we go, six seconds, come on. Almost there, three seconds. Okay, let's see. Trio push up. So we got a wide push up, we got a military, and we got our diamond here. That's it. Here we go. Wide push up, military push up, diamond push up. Yeah, let's go ahead and do tiptoe lunges next. I'm almost 100% sure. And we skipped them. Alright, come on. Here we go. That's it. Alright, tiptoe lunge, tiptoe lunge. I thought that seemed right. It's funny, I do a lot of live workouts and my wife does them with me. And she's sharp as a tack. And I will forget stuff all the time. Especially rest and exercises like that. And she's on it. So hopefully I get her to do a YouTube video, work out with me sometime. She's pretty awesome. Alright. Now we've actually got legit rest. And we got an alarm going off outside. We're gonna take it into our stretch right now. So let's drop it down real quick. We're gonna start with our butterfly stretch. Whew. Pretty much hit full body today. So definitely gonna stretch full body. So this will be perfect for you. Now, if you are new to this channel, we pretty much do the same stretch every single time. So you may have it memorized by now if you've been a part of this for a while, but if you're new, you'll get the hang of it real quick. So feet together, forehead down to your feet. In five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now legs straight. Reach forward, touch your toes. That's it. In five, four, three, two, one. So for this one, we're going into a hard loose stretch. The right leg wants to be in front, where you want it in front. Your left leg's behind. If you can get it straight, get it straight. Forehead down to the ground. You're gonna hold it. Four, three, two, one. You feel that in the glutes for sure. Switch it around. Other side, exact same hard loose stretch. So forehead down. Good. In five, I can't count. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Good, okay. So now on your back, we're gonna go ahead and stretch our backs out. Just keep one leg straight, pull one leg across your body and touch your knee over to the ground, just like that. In five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, switch it, other side, same exact thing. Ah, there we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Good. So on your stomach, let's get our abs stretched out here. All right. Now make sure after this, you're going log your points for the day. We've got some dominant challengers this six weeks on the Home Fitness Challenge. Holy cow. I thought I'd be in the top like all the way through this thing, or at least the first or second. I'm getting beat out by a few of you on this. So fantastic job. Super proud of you. Can't wait for the six weeks to be wrapped up so that way I can give you all shout outs and get some prizes thrown your way. Like I'm pumped for you. Y'all are doing good. You definitely surprised me. But with the next six week challenge, it's gonna be completely different. Completely different. All right, you're gonna love it. Hold over style all together. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. Now feet together, reach down, touch toes. Let's get those hamstrings out. One more time here. I think I need some new shoes. Treads are starting to come off the bottom of these. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, last couple stretches. Arm across the front of the body. Let's go get the triceps and the shoulders stretched out a little bit here. In three, two, one. Other side. In five, four, three, two, one. Now, straight down on your elbow. Middle finger to your spine. It's gonna get the triceps as well. In four, three, two, one. Other side. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, Fit Body Nation, what, what? You know that wraps up another awesome Monday workout. I love you guys. If you enjoyed this workout, make sure you share it, subscribe, leave those comments below. If you're new, if you're old, let me know when your birthday is. All right, I will see you back here on Wednesday for an awesome weight training workout.